Here's a food for thought. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Just like our first bioengineered food, the flavor Saver tomato. Now, this tomato wasn't your average vine ripened red. No, sir, it was genetically tweaked to stay fresh and juicy for longer. The intention was to have a longer shelf life, kind of like that tub of yogurt you've got hidden at the back of your fridge. You know the one past its expiration date, but you're convinced it's still good. And that's the thing with the flower sauver tomato. It was the bioengineered answer to our fear of expiration dates. It was like that one guy we all know who, despite the party being over, the music stopped and the host's yawning just doesn't get the hint. So the flavor sour tomato was basically that one friend who overstays their welcome at parties. Ever had a fish that glows in the dark? No, it's not a superhero origin story. It's our next bioengineered marvel. Meet the glowfish, the world's first genetically modified pet. Now I know what you're thinking, genetically modified, like with superpowers? Well, not exactly. These little guys were originally engineered in Singapore to help detect environmental pollutants. By adding a naturally fluorescent gene to the fish, they create a creature that literally glows when exposed to black light. It's like a disco party in a fish tank. But here's the real kicker. These fish are available in a rainbow of neon colors. We're talking red, green, orange, blue, and purple. It's like someone took a highlighter pack to the pet store. And the best part? They could double as a nightlight. Imagine a pet that also helps you navigate your way to the bathroom at 3 a.m. Now that's what I call multitasking. So who needs a bedside lamp when you've got a glowing fish swimming around? Imagine being immune to something that kills everything around you. No, we're not talking about your boss's bad jokes. We're talking about Roundup Ready crops. Now imagine these crops as the kid in school who never got sick, even when everyone else was sniffling and coughing their lungs out. These crops are bioengineered to resist the herbicide called Roundup. It's like they've got an invisible shield, deflecting the herbicide that would normally wipe out the plant population. And it's not just a fancy party trick. This means farmers can spray their fields with Roundup, annihilating the weeds, but leaving the crops standing tall and healthy. It's like being able to laugh in the face of your aunt's notorious meatloaf or your roommate's attempt at experimental cooking while everyone else is running for the hills. So these crops are basically the superheroes of the plant world, surviving where others can't. Who said all that glitters is not gold? Our next bioengineered food, golden rice, would beg to differ. Now this isn't some fairy tale, folks. This is science at its finest. Golden rice is a brainchild of ingenious bioengineers who thought, hey, why don't we give plain old rice a vitamin A upgrade? And voila, we have golden rice, a type of rice engineered to contain vitamin A. I mean, it's like they say you are what you eat, right? But who knew we could also eat what we want to be? In this case, golden. And don't worry, this isn't some Midas touch situation. You won't turn into a golden statue after eating it. But it could help you see in the dark, you know, because vitamin A is good for your eyesight. So next time you're cooking up a storm, why not add a dash of gold to your plate? Golden rice, making your dinner plate a little more bling since the 2000s. So we've had glow-in-the-dark fish, immortal tomatoes, superhero crops, and gold on our dinner plates. What a time to be alive, eh? Look back at what we've chewed over today. We started with the eager glowfish, the disco ball of the aquatic world, lighting up our fish tanks and probably our sushi rolls if we aren't careful. Then we move to the immortal tomatoes, the vampires of the vegetable kingdom. They refuse to age, just like that aunt of yours who still claims to be 29. Next, we met the Roundup Ready crops, the superheroes of the agricultural world. Armed with their pesticide-resistant shields, they're out there, fighting the good fight against those villainous weeds. And finally, the golden rice, the Midas touch on our dinner plates. It's not just a pretty face, though. It's out here fighting vitamin A deficiency, one spoonful at a time. And that's the funny side of bioengineered food. Who said science can't have a sense of humor? We've had a great time exploring the wild and wonderful world of genetically modified organisms together, haven't we? But as with everything in life, all good things must come to an end. But don't worry, this isn't goodbye. It's just a see you later. If you enjoyed today's video and want to keep up with the latest in quirky science, Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more content just like this. 
And hey, why not share this video with your friends? Maybe they'll get a kick out of Frankenfoods too. Until next time, stay curious, stay hungry, and always keep exploring the funny side of science. See you in the next video.